Okay, welcome back, welcome back um, to another Rust video, and this Rust video is another admin plugin, or just server plugin, and um, it's a fun thing that, we, that people have been looking for again for a long time in the game, and we have now got rafts, buildable rafts. Technically we have boats in the server. So I'm going to show you how this works. So it's a brand new plugin, it just came out this evening, or this afternoon, so it's literally just level version 1, so the, it's not too buggy because it's on the water, which is good because a lot of the bugs we have with the horse plugin and a couple of other things are more relevant to like when you're on land with the you know rocks and stuff. So sounds like somebody's raiding in the background. Right, so I'm gonna show you it works. So basically give me a second, I'll show you the info. So you can see here and um, we've got the rafts uh, plugin info. So this is how you build them. So basically what you gotta do is you need to you need, in our mass server I've got a ten thousand wood requirement to build the main base of the raft. Um obviously you can change that in the configuration of the plugin, it's up to yourself. Um, and this one is uh, standing in uh, knee deep water with 10,000 wood in your inventory and do raft dot build. Uh, so we'll do that first. So I've found a few times when you do this, you, you have to be in exactly the right depth of water, not too shallow, not too deep. Uh, and do the command one sec. Hang on a second. So at the moment it's kind of laborious having to type all this shit in to build it, but it makes it gives it a little. It gives it a little bit of fun, like, because you can't just, sort of, like, make your boat, or, you know, if you know what I mean. So I'll, expect, I'll do the first bit, right? So we do raft build first. Oh, no, not, not, you must be in deeper water, so you go a little bit deeper. Actually, this kind of was a bit weird to me the other day. It took me a while to get this work. Kind of tight today. Deeper water. I'm, I'm actually swear I'm going to go here. There we go. And now you're a captain of the boat. So what it's done is it's built me the base, the basic uh, craft um, sentry. So you've got your little. Well, it's pretty clever what he's done. He's just used the barrels and like a. That's what's got your rudder. And then that, obviously that's your captain's seat. So the way it works is you can add things to it. So basically you can still you can drive around it like this. You can just get in the seat and drive around. You know if you want. And um, but you've not got a sail, so you can't like automatically. Sort of move around it, you know. So what you got to do is you sit back in the seat and there's some more commands to add here. Uh, I'll give you another look at them quickly. I'll just show you them then we'll, I'll just do them. So you can see here, so you, once you've done the raft build, that's what I've done so far, we've got that. Now to, you can add the uh, walls, then a roof, and then a sail, and then there's a, a net which is at the side of the raft. I'll show you why that's relevant in a minute. Uh, you can add a fire, just, to the, just a little campfires for food and stuff. And then you can add chairs to have two passengers. Uh, here's the other. The, this is other commands. The raft destroy obviously does to just give you to kill the, the raft if you don't want to build a new one, whatever. And uh, and then there's raft set sail. Which once you've got everything built, you can you can sail the boat. So I'm going to show you everything now. The other thing that's relevant at the moment was version 1.0 in this plugin. You can't actually uh, uh, destroy these. Um, so at the moment you can set it on the server. So like only there's only one per person. So <laughs> that could be problematic if there's like a hundred players in your server, but uh, I've usually got thirty or forty, so it's not too bad. But um, anyway, so like, so once you're in the seat, you can just do some more commands. Let me just do them. Let's do, I'll type these in. So this is a lot. I'm sure there'll be a faster way to do this later on, but this is kind of um, just one of the way to do it just now. Now the, the way it's done like this is to make it like it's crafted, so that you're building your boat up from stuff you've collected. Um, so you have to have like uh, chairs to add the chairs, the passenger chairs. You have to have rope and obviously a bunch of wood. So let me just do the a few commands. So you can't really see much when I do this, but I can suppose I can go third person when I'm doing it. Here we go, you can probably see it now. Give me a sec. Bingo, so that's the walls, they appear now. I do the roof now. I need some more wood, hang on. <laughs> Should have thought this before I start. It's all good though. Give us some food. Got a roof now. It's getting there. Now did I sail? That's my sail appeared in the top now. What else can we do? We can do the uh, the rope.
And bingo. So that's basically your complete... Yeah, well actually, here's a little trick as well. So you can paint the sign. So we can go in here. And what we'll do is, this, this is going to be your sign or the... Uh, this should be the flag, I think. I think that's what you said. I've not tried this yet. Let's take out a wee try. So let's go with a pirate flag, isn't it? So it's always, what, white on... Black on white, is it? Yeah. So we'll just fill this in black. Never thought to do this before, but we can show you this as well. So I'm just going to paint this in quickly. We'll do ourselves a little pirate thing going on here. Hey, don't judge me, man. There we go. Uh, I'll update that. And then now if we... How do you open this? Oh, you have to do this. I know how to do it. So once you've done that... So obviously the fireworks, a little light comes on at night and stuff if you want to use it. So if you're out in the, out in the sea out there, um, you can... <laughs> now, I was talking about the rope before. So the whole point of this rope here, you might think, what's that for? But actually, you can see it goes, it goes right down the side. It's so you can get back in your boat if you're in the middle of the sea. So uh, let me just get up. And you can see here, it lets you get on the boat by just finding the rope. If you get it right. Go. And we're in. And that's how you get out of the water, obviously, because you can't really jump out of the water onto the boat from normally. You get the idea. So, now, so obviously you can have two passengers in here. The, uh, the one thing that, that's important to mention is uh, if they're not seated, they will just glitch and fall out of the boat. So they have to be seated when you want to move with passengers. And then um, also the other thing that's kind of what I noticed earlier is that if you take an item, these arrows, if I drop them on the ground, they just drop right through the boat. So do not go to go out in the middle of the sea and drop like a C4 for your friend, or it'll just fucking disappear. Right, cool. So let's show you some of that some of this working. So you just need to get in the seat now. We're now in the pilot seat and uh, we're off. Now obviously I'm in third person because I'm admin just now and um, um normally this normally you would see it like uh, like this is what you would see, which is still pretty cool. You can't really see past there or there, but it does defence from people shooting at you from the water I guess. And then we'll head out of the water and have a little look around and just get an idea what this does. So basically, as simple as this is as simple as it is, it's, it's a raft or a boat plug-in. You can just can build a boat and you can uh, drive out. And I don't know. I mean, in the future, maybe they'll be resor yeah, they'll probably putting a little box down here in the future so you can store some stuff. So maybe you could go out here. Um, I mean, I never thought about folks sleeping on the raft. Actually, I don't see why they couldn't though. Um, but maybe I get folk going out to the water here and then sleeping on the raft. Um, just. Logging out this. Actually, I wonder what happened if I log out the server. I wonder if you fall through the boat as well, like he does when you drop items. Actually, that, I can't really test that right now, but I'll test that later. So yeah, that's it. So let me. You can, then once you're out here, you can get out your boat. You can walk around. You're in your little boat now. You're out in the sea, um, and you get your fireworks. You can get a fire on. You get a little fire going. Your little light works as well. You can might put some fuel in it. So yeah, and that's uh, in a nutshell. That's it now. I put, oh, actually, I was going to show you the one last thing. So if you go in the chair and do the command uh, set sail. It actually unfurls the sail. Now, I don't know why it didn't change, though, to the, the pirate thing I drew, but I guess that's what it is. So there you go, that's your little sail. And that means now, now I've done set sail, um, it means I can move a little bit faster slightly. And if you've got like the weather turned on in your server, the wind does affect this, so if you um, are sort of floating around like this and the wind's actually in, like quite strong in the server, it will actually boost you slightly, which is quite cool. There's a little, there's a nice bug for you there, look at that, where the, f the fire doesn't like when it's moving. So there's, you better have that off or that just looks glitchy as shitty. But you can see, yeah, you've got a boat now and you can steer it, you can drive around like a car. And because it's on the water, it doesn't glitch so bad, you know, it's, it's kind of decent. But um, yeah, now I thought a few uses for this. People might go out in the water and try and dive down and build foundations, maybe possibly build some water bases quite far out. But obviously other people can just get a boat and come out and uh, find you. It's a big bit of water out there, you know, you can see there's a lot of, wa a lot of water. So obviously uh, <laughs> you could probably find a place to hide somewhere like right on the edge of the map, but you know, people will probably find you if they're resourceful. You can now use the grid, you know, so you can see where you are in the, in the water too, so you know, it's one of those things. So I'm going to head over here and I'm going to do a lot, one more thing. I'm going to show you um, the destruction thing. Now, if you're worried about people destroying your raft, only the person that built the raft can destroy it. So on paper, I think you... I don't know if you need to look at the raft or not. I'm just going to test it right here. I don't know if you can ground the raft as well. I never thought of that. Let's see if you can ground the raft. Let's just do tests. 
and it just, just stops there, yeah, that's cool. Right, so let's do the raft destroy and see what happens. So it's uh, literally, yeah, raft destroy. And uh, that did fuck all. Okay, whatever. I think it's maybe because uh, I've got two rafts on the server right now. Okay, so that's kind of it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little plugin. Um, oh yeah, it's there. <laughs> Lol. No, I, I didn't really. <laughs> ah, so you can paint this. Ah, see, oh, of course, these are signs too. You could customize your whole boat to look really cool because these are all just signs. I'm being an idiot. The flag. I think that's always the same. The flag because that's something. That's a custom thing that the guys put in, which actually looks like a kind of homemade flag. It's quite cool. And uh, yeah, that's your bit of fun, so you know, you could have yourself a little raft or your custom clan layman or some shit if you wanted to. And uh, they're not really any use for raiding really at the moment, but it's fun, you know. I've added them, added them to my server if you want to come and check them out. Come to the Naked Wars server. Um, everyone's allowed one of these each. You just need a bunch of wood and some equipment to build one. And uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. The oh, right, one last thing. This is not a free plugin. This plugin is like $20. So obviously it's quite a lot of work gone into it. Um, you can decide if it's worth $20 of your money. I'm not going to tell you it is. A lot of folk are in a fuss about the price of some of these plugins. But to be honest with you, for the fun this adds to the players on the server, I'm happy to pay that. Alright. Have a good one. Take it easy. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.